Hey guys, what's going on? It's Slacker here, coming to you with episode 4 of our Indiana State Rebuild. This is called The Legacy Episode 4. In this episode, we're going to play Illinois Chicago Flames. As you can see here, we're playing them first. Then we're going to finish up by playing Ryder. So, it is our last two games of the Anaheim Classic. So, the tournament is... Has been taking place we lost our first game so right now we're in the constellation bracket if we win we play for fifth place if we lose we play for seventh so we want to get a win against uic well we're in the constellation round nick but i don't think you're going to see any of these players letting up at all not at all brad these kids came here to play basketball and that is what they're going to do both sides are going to have to fight for the win today brad nestler here with dick vitale and aaron andrew there's a look dick at the starting lineups hey brad check out the power forwards these kids are fun to watch they've got enough skill level to carry their respective teams to victory So the tip is up. We do not win the tip, and we are 0 4 this year, as you saw. The other team, UIC, is 1 5, so we stand a pretty good chance. They're not very good, but they're good enough to make the opening shot. Trying to run a little bit of offense here, trying to get something going, trying to get our offense going good. Buckle is going to shoot a three in the right. He's going to hit it, and Indiana State takes a early 3 2 lead. Hensley gets the interception there, gives up the spear. Spear is an easy layup. Running a press, dropping back to a 2 3 zone. We're trying out this zone to see how it's doing, and so far it's doing well. Getting plenty of turnovers from UIC. Going a pretty big run here, a 10 to 2 run, and the turnovers just keep coming. Hensley up the court. Going to get that one in as well. UIC back up by one here. Going to get rejected. The defense is on point right now. If we could just get our offense going, Malloy in transition is going to get the easy layup. Running the zone still, a 2-3 zone. It's working well this game against UIC. Here's another pick off from in the middle. Hensley going to get an easy lay in here. Another two to points go. for Indiana State. OC, big man on campus, baby. Trying to beat the press. Hensley going to find Lynch. Lynch, a beautiful Try pass to over to Kenny. He's going to miss the layup, but he's going to get his own rebound. And rebound. gets it in for on two. Right so he gets a rebound on and two elbow, points. Kenny and the low block. Going to find and Davis on the outside. Our best three-point shooter. He's going to drill a three. Try to go inside. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Off the mark. UIC up, up twice without getting it Pushes in. It Cannot believe they don't get it in there. Hensley pushing it. He pump fakes. Man to Pumping man by UIC. Up. Malloy's what just going to take a three. Here, Drills it. Indiana State up 42 to 31 with a minute left in the first like half. Like you, They're going to add to that like lead you, going up 44 31. Go 10 point they lead. 10 seconds block. left before half. Nick, this is just playing good defense. Looking for someone open to take the last the shot. Inside. You're going to actually throw it away. Lynch not able to get it up and in. So taking a 10 point lead into half. Probably the Indiana best State. half the Indiana State has played this season. Hey, yeah, that might be the difference playing down the stretch. So if you want to know why we are up by so much, the field goal percentage is up great, but it's the turnovers. One turnover for us, seven for UIC. That 2-3 zone is really helping with the turnovers, especially against Illinois Chicago, who cannot shoot threes very good. So the 2-3 zone basically compacts the middle, Makes it tough for layups, makes it tough for drives, but it leaves the three-point open. Now but against a team like this who can't shoot threes very well, perfect defense so far. Beautiful two. pass by Kenny. Finds Spears, a no-look behind the pack pass for Kenny to Spears. He yeah, gets an easy dunk. And here's Kenny himself and getting an and game. one the with the concentration the to get the contact and makes his free throw. On the outside. 2-3 zone still working, getting turnovers. The Star Watch has their shooting guard at 0.0 field goals, 0 rebounds. 
Not sure. He's not actually playing, so not sure why he was even the star to begin with. But if you look at that, we're doing pretty good. Here's a three from USC. Again, they're going to be open, but USC cannot shoot threes. Malloy, however, can, and he drills a three here. This is going to do it. 78 to 54 is going to end the score. That's going to be the game. Indiana State gets its first win of the season. They go to one and four, and we will be playing for fifth place against Ryder. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody. And now let's take a look at our players of the game. A real nice performance by Derek Kenny, another player of the game. He had 13 points, seven rebounds. Spears had four and three. 11 and three for Buckles. Malloy had a big game, dropping 17. Also, the 11 assists by Hensley is amazing. Good for him getting 11 assists. And Davis had 17 points of his own, mostly on threes. He went three for seven, five of nine for Malloy. So the three-point ball was going in, which really helped. But the main difference was the turnovers. We had three. UIC had 12. And we got to keep the turnovers going. We got to keep going on the turnovers. Free throws, we fouled them a lot on, on attempts, but we held them in check from the three-point field goal. They only had two. We had 13. They shot 15% from three. That was the reason we won, and we moved to one and four. Again, going against Ryder, the championship game is UTA and New Mexico State University. I think it's UTA, University of Texas. Could be wrong there, but third place is ETSU against Western Michigan. ETSU, we played last episode and lost, but we are going for fifth place. We're playing Ryder. I think we're, uh, I've looked at Ryder's team. They don't look great, so I'm hoping we can run the 2-3 zone again, and hopefully they don't make threes, and we can stay in that 2-3 zone and get a bunch of turnovers. They come in at a C overall. We're going to give them the white jerseys. We're going to use blue. Going over their three-point three percentage is 34%, so not great. So we do want to use that 2-3 zone. It worked really, really well last game against UIC. So we're going to try that. We're also doing the set tempo. I I've, haven't done this yet, but we're going to give it a try and see if this does anything, if this actually makes a difference or what exactly it does. We're gonna go with take and make the three. We like shooting threes as long as we can make them. Don't like really running the motion offense. Scoring transition is good and spreading out the attack. I like our attack to be just spread out all over. Makes it harder to guard, but let's get started. Well, it's time to begin our coverage of the consolation round. And we've got a really great game lined up for you. I'll tell you, we sure do, Brad. Both teams lost their last game. And now it's something to prove. I expect to see an intense game from the tip off to the final plus. I'm Brad Nestler alongside Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. What's the starting five look like, you might ask? Well, whether it's a big game or a small game, your starting five has got to be ready to go, Dick. We have a great matchup at the power forward position. Either of these kids could be the difference maker for their team in this game. Ryder coming in at three and four. Indiana State finally gets their first win. One and four. Let's get this started. Tip is up. Spears gets the tip. So Hensley starts off with the ball. Ryder is going to be the first one to score here with a pass wide over the middle. We are in a 1-3-1 one, one zone trying that out. It's not really going to work, so we're going to try to switch it up to a 2-3 zone here soon. Ryder is already up 4-0 to, to start the game. Buckles on the transition gets his first bucket of the game. They go into the low block. Hensley down to Spears. Spears looking. Going to find his buddy Kenny. Kenny up with the shot. He misses up with another shot. Misses it. Spears finally gets it and puts it in. So two offensive rebounds already. Finally getting the ball in. One point game. Ryder up. Buckles going to attempt a three. Going to miss it. But Spears with the offensive rebound. And the slam. 
flushes it over Ryder. Ryder on a run now. Going to go up by five. Indiana State's got to keep this game close. We cannot let this get out of hand. Our team is not good enough to come back from large margins. As you can see, the field goal's four of 15. So we're not shooting well, but Hensley does hit a three here, bringing the game within two. Here comes the turnovers. Right now, Ryder has four. We're gonna get it Malloy with the breakaway. He's gonna get two easy points. Game is 20 to 15. We're in that two, three zone. Trying to get more turnovers. Hensley, another turnover, gets it to Hensley. Hensley's gonna find Lynch through the middle. Easy layup. So there's four points and back-to-back -back possessions. Turnovers, easy layups. Here's another turnover that Hensley gets. Looking on the break. Gonna find a three-point shooter, Davis. He is his only shooting a two there. Drains it, easy. Definitely Davis is probably our best scorer as far as being able to shoot the ball all around. Here's another turnover for Indiana State. Davis again on the right side, gonna miss it. But Kenny with the offensive rebound, putting it in for two. 23-22 with about three minutes left. Another great turnover for Hensley. Hensley looking for someone on the break. He's gonna find Lynch. Lynch is gonna get the easy layup. Indiana State up by five now. 10 seconds left. Trying to go for the still there, Mason. Backups are in right now. Making sure we don't get any fouls before the end of the half. Ivy shoots a half court three, not able to make it. But Indiana State going in by five at half. Did not play a great offensive game, only 40%, but the turnovers. We, we got 11 turnovers from Ryder. They're hitting 58% of the shots, which is absolutely huge and crazy. And the fact that they're down by five right now, you wonder how how can they be down five by shooting almost 60% when their opponent's only shooting 40? It's the 11 turnovers they had, all caused by this 2-3 zone. Trying to keep it going in the second still half. We are Malloy with the still here. Hensley going to find his buddy Kenny. Kenny, an easy dunk. Another assist for the point guard. 41 to 41 here. Ryder is going to get it and one. A huge shot, a huge make. Going to get the and one. Going to the line, does make the field goal. Does make the free throw. So they'll go up. They are up 47 to 41 right now. Indiana State looking for something to go. Davis going to get rejected by the rim. It should have been an easy shot. But went up too close to the rim and gets rejected by the rim. Here's Ryder up by six. Gonna make it eight. No, he misses it. Misses it again. Oh, he got it. That one went in. Ryder up by eight right now. Malloy trying to get something going. Davis trying to help. He's gonna make a three here. Davis has to show up if we are gonna win. He's our best shooter. Right now we're not shooting well, so we have to try to do anything we can. Ryder trying not to make that happen. Going up by nine and ten after the made free throw. Here is a steal from that 2-3 defense. Boy, Mason is in because he can shoot threes. Team. We gotta get three soon. He Lynch gets hit. Davis gonna make a three here. Davis is on fire. Gotta keep giving him the ball. Two, three zones, gonna have to get turnovers. Here's a turnover here. Mason's gonna get a breakaway. Easy jam, there's another two, so a five point swing there. Brings the game to three points with about a minute left. Gonna miss it. Gonna miss it again. 50 seconds left. Mason with the breakaway gets rejected. Indiana State running out of time. Thought we had two easy points there with a one point game. Ryder gonna take it right to the rim. Not able to get it. 40 seconds left. Indiana State down by three. Have to get something going here. Trying to find Davis open. Davis not open, Mason not open. Looking for the three. Malloy, pump fake, not able to get the three. Running down on time, Kenny's gonna get it. Oh, the fake shot over to Davis. Oh, Davis hits the three, making it a tie game, 56-56. One last stop for the Indiana State. Have to happen here, 56-56. Ryder has the ball, last second shot is up. Fadeaway three, not able to go in. So 56-56, the end of the game. We are going to overtime.
in overtime. 62-62. Lynch backing down his defender. Finds Malloy actually out of bounds on the throw, but he... He, I don't even know how, what happened there, but he came in to make a three, and Malloy hits another three here. So Malloy on off, or on fire on offense right now, absolutely making everything. Kenny's going to add two of his own. Indiana State up by six with 41 seconds left. Here's Indiana State only up by two now with 17 seconds left, not able to really make free throws right now. Two huge free throws coming. The 101 makes it there. Gets the second one up by four right now. That's going to do it. Indiana State going to get fifth place in the Anaheim Classic. Also, their second win of the season, proving to two and four. Second win of this episode. Derek, McKin Derek Kinney, player of the game again with 16 points, 8 rebounds. Good day for him. Malloy had 18. Davis had 13 of his own. Definitely spread the scoring around with 16, 18, 8, and 13. So great day, good day for Indiana State. A bunch of turnovers, which was the difference in the game, was that 2-3 zone. Our offense did not show up really when it came to shooting a ball. However, our defense did show up, and our defense got us so many more opportunities. We got out-rebounded by 11 rebounds. We had six more assists. We had two more steals. The turnovers is what did it. We had 11, and the Ryder Bronx had 20 turnovers. So the turnovers, getting us those extra possessions, was what we needed to be able to win. I mean, field goals, we had 28. They had 31, but we had nine threes. They only had one. They shot 17% from three points, so we forced them to shoot the three. They couldn't do it. We could, however, so we win taking fifth place in the Anaheim Classic, proving to two and four on the year. In the next episode, we'll be starting off the day by playing Notre Dame, one of our in-state rivals. So we'll see if we can contend with one of the Big East. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any other content. I will have these coming out hopefully every Wednesday evening. Till next time, slacker out.